The latest developments out of Livingston County. Students and faculty at SUNY Geneseo will head back to class with heavy hearts tomorrow. This is a loss to me. This was one of my kids who made an impression. A double murder suicide that police say was fueled by a recent breakup has shaken this tight knit community. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Hannah Bueller digging deeper into the brutal crime tonight. Kingston called and reported that his son, Colin Kingston, just called him from an unknown number and states that he murdered his girlfriend. He's also going to kill himself. 911 tapes released by third party MNPoliceClips.com paint the picture of the deadly scene that unfolded just minutes from the SUNY Geneseo campus early Sunday morning. Can you try to get dad on the phone again, have him respond here, and see if he can contact Colin? Police were desperately trying to get in touch with former Geneseo student, 24 year old Colin Kingston, who they say made a strange call to his dad before the line went dead. 21 year old Geneseo women's basketball player Kelsey Anisi and her 24 year old friend, Geneseo hockey player and volunteer fireman Matthew Hutchinson, were both found stabbed to death in a bedroom. Police also found the body body of 24-year-old Kingston, Kelsey's ex-boyfriend. Uh, we believe that Mr. Kingston was distraught over the breakup. Um, which led up to the events of yesterday. The community and college are now trying to cope with this unbelievable heartbreak. SUNY Geneseo lowered all flags to half staff to mourn the loss. Students head back to class tomorrow following a long winter break. It will likely be very difficult for many to face a new semester with this tragedy on their minds. In the village of Geneseo, the fire department has draped black and purple mourning flags outside the building. Inside sits Hutchinson's jackets and boots, a painful reminder of a life lost too soon. That was really in the in the upper echelon of our department. Anisi grew up about an hour north of the college in Webster, New York. A former high school teacher remembers her as a beautiful, kind young girl who made a big impression. They're like little rays of light in my life. And the light has different intensities. Kelsey's light was very bright. She was special. The men's and women's basketball teams have both canceled their games tomorrow due to this tragedy. SUNY Geneseo is planning a memorial Wednesday at 7 p.m. Hannah Bueller, 7 Eyewitness News.